Hey everybody, welcome back. Check it out. We've got the new V2 Tundra. Um, if you guys have been around long enough on my channel, you know I did one of these things when they first came out when there's only one and it was green. And that thing was a winner. You can see here, they're proud of it and I don't blame them. Um, this is the box it comes in. A little bit updated. I don't want to move around too much. I cut the tape on the bottom and there's some stuff on the bottom. But you can get all different colors. This one is the green one. It's kind of cool because it's like the original. And then here's a bunch of pictures and specs here. Sorry about the glare. It's a shiny box. Anyway, so like I said, one thing to be careful of, I can flip it over without making a mess, which I can't. Once you cut the tape, this comes off, then that will come out. So on the bottom of the box is an accessory pack. You've got some struts, uh, landing gear parts, the water rudder here, prop. Looks like the stuff for the FPV platform. Now they upgraded the gear on this one. They um, did, added some VGs on the wings. I don't know if it says on here what the new stuff is. But as you know with the Tundra you've got a mount, hard mount for towing gliders. Pretty cool. This plane's an awesome plane. I'm excited to get the V2 in the air and see how it feels. Get that out of the way. So here's what you see in the box. All carefully packaged. You even got floats in there. So you don't have to pay extra for floats. That's a bonus. So right on the top here, quick setup guide. Here we'll have a spar. Your floats are right on the top. Decals to match the bird. Pretty cool. Nice, nice light, smooth. You can see the shape there. Okay, I guess we'll start over here in the corner. You've got your big wheels and tires. Pull a few down there. This also has the reversing ESC like the color tundras had. You've got your easy mount wing socket there for your electrical connectors. Here's where I put the receiver in my last one. Got a big hatch in there. You can see the speed control and stuff in there. Um, on my other one I also put the bomb drop. You can see it's already ready for that. So we will be doing that to this as well. Turn the motor, I don't know if you probably can't see the motor in there very good, but it's in there. Up here in the corner, got a tail wheel screwdriver. Here's all the little VGs, looks like you're going to have to install those. Some Velcro. Bunch of bits, we'll go through that later. What else is in here? Here we have the elevator halves. You know, make sure you always want to move these and loosen that up. Make it move a little freer. Looks good. And here we'll have the wings. course you got those monster flaps. I always love putting them straight down like that on my other one. Come straight down with the runway, flare at the last little bit, come in for landing. We'll be doing that as well. Here you can see they got all the marks where the VGs are going to go. Taking the guesswork out, you got to like that. Everything moves free and looks good. Servos pre-installed, except for your linkages. And down in here, this would be the little piece 
for the bomb drop that fits the shape of the bottom of the fuse, right? Because it's, I can kind of get it so you can see it. it, fits that fuse so things will fit flush. So, all right, there we go. We will get this out of the way. Let's have a look at this paper. I don't see really a manual on how to put anything together, and there isn't going to be on here either, but it just shows your CG and your throws. So, go to Hobby King's website, we'll have a manual, or you can watch this video and I'll show you how to do it. We're going to put her together John BH style, so stay tuned, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think, and always follow down below in the description, underneath the video, follow the links. Okay, here's everything out of the little accessory packs that we have had there. So here's some of your, this will be for your landing gear and your floats. Um, here's your prop. I don't know if you guys, hard to believe anybody hasn't seen one of these babies in person, but look at that carbon prop it comes with. It's beautiful. So here's some of the stuff for the landing gear. Um, here's your little BGs. They're really cool. Once that focuses, cool little parts. Um, here's how your tail wheel looks. Some Velcro, a bunch of screws that are all marked. Here's some more parts for holding on the landing gear and the little um, pieces that are going to hold the wheels on that thread on here. And you get your little spar for the tail, elevators and horizontals. And here's your water rudder. And a couple more little bits here. So these are going to be the uh, for the elevator, I believe, on the bottom. Gets these little dudes for a little extra support. Kind of like flying wires, I guess you'd say. Triangulate all that. So, anyways, we'll get on to building, and it'll all make sense then. So, okay, stay tuned. where I start is I put a receiver in it. So I put a little JR921 2.4 receiver in there. Put it in the back. All the connections are labeled. Everything is good there. Um, bounded up to the IX12. Links in the description for these items. And I got all the servos centered. I just took the wings and just kind of plugged them into the sockets so they powered up. Made sure the servos worked. Unplugged them. Don't plug them in there and let go because nothing's supporting them, right? So no spar or nothing. So I got them. Everything's centered and good. So what I'm going to do now, um, I also calibrated the ESC so you'll once you got it bound, take your bind plug out, um, unhook the battery, full throttle, plug it in. Once it beeps, bring it down to idle. That'll be done. Um, there is one extra wire that comes from the ESC. It just has um, two, plug, two wires going to it. That I hook to the gear switch since there's no gear. And that's going to be for reversing the ESC for backwards. So you'll want to pay attention to that and pay attention to what way the prop spins but anyways so far so good now that we got that i'll get the linkages here all installed they're already pre-made i'm just not sure how long they are if they're right yet so we'll get that done and um, i mean the ones on the tail too you just like the rudder one you just since it's already centered i'll screw that in until it's centered uh, down the rudder and connect that and keep going so there's really nothing to okay, it. Okay so you put the carbon spar in, slide the halves on, you take the the manual says two by eight screws which looks like these little dudes one on each side hook up your ball link with my servo centered it wound up like this so I'm gonna have to do some adjusting now these I didn't see anything in the online manual but these are for your elevators, so they're, they're going to go up on here. And I'll show you, I don't have any CA, so I can't put them on right now. But this tab is going to be bent one way, and this one here gets folded back around and glued down on there. So once I get some CA that's not hard as a rock, I'll show you how those go on. But that pretty much takes care of the elevator. Just pop that dude on. So what I'm going to do next after that... Um, is go up to the servos up in here, loosen the Allen key, center up the elevators, tighten that back down. Oh, and the, uh, so the rudder was just simply adjust the linkage to the right length, pop that on, and the tail wheel just goes on with two little screws 
holds that in place. That was, those screws were in the bag with the water rudder attached to the magnet. So anyway, tail's pretty much done until we get glue. So now we'll move on, put the landing gear on. Okay, here's the rest of the gear on. So you're going to put this deal here about in the middle and tighten the Allen on it. Little kind of wishbone-y part and then a spring. Same on the other side, same deal. Now the reason you want those things down is because the hub on the wheel has to clear, right? So you want it to clear that. So next, put the wheels on and then we'll screw these little dudes on. That's what's going to hold the wheels on because it's threaded on the end here, you'll see. Anyway, yeah, then that'll button up the gear. Okay, here we've got the flap and aileron linkages done. You can see how that goes on, pretty simple. So what I did is, obviously you ran your radio, so you've got your servos all centered. And I just kind of fit the linkage in here and held it in place till it looked like we were pretty close. And got it popped on and then popped little keepers on. Same thing with this, got it adjusted and then popped everything into place. So we've got all that done. Make sure your servo goes the right way. It's only going to work one way. So next we're going to put the big old carbon spar in the middle. Put the struts on, put the wings on. Be right back. There you can see the holes where the wings are going to go. Wing screws. And then they will screw into here which again has nice metal inserts now. So definitely a good upgrade over V1. So stay tuned. Here we've got the right wing on. So slide it on. What I did is I put the spar in the plane to where it was centered. You could probably put a center mark because you could see it down in there. But anyways, I noticed the spar will slide all the way into the wing. So anyways, put the spar on there, center it on the plane, then hold on to it, slide that one wing on. Then you can put your two machine screws in there. You'll test fit the struts. They are different. One will fit on one side, one won't fit on the other. So then you can put your two screws in that. And that's it. So now I'm going to do the other side and we'll have the wings complete. Okay, there's the complete build on that. I just have to put a battery in it, check my CG, check my throws, do my expo, dual rates, that's it. Mount the prop. So that's it for that. Next we'll build the floats. Well, I didn't put the VGs on or these little dudes yet because I don't have glue. So I can't really do much there. But obviously these, they have little tabs on them and they'll just go in there. Let me grab a couple real quick and we'll show you. Okay, so they're just a little deal like that. And they're just going to fit in those grooves like that. So. They'll be all over the place. It's going to look cool. I see they staggered them. I don't know if that's scale or not. I've never flown a plane with VGs on them yet, so... Neat. Should be very fun. So anyways, on to the floats. Okay, the floats. So you'll get them set on the table. You'll get these little spreader bars. And if you look down in here... Whoops, a little too close. You can see there's three kind of holes, so to speak. So the spreader bars will go on the farthest inside holes. And then your pieces will go on the next holes over. So according to the manual. So front and rear, same deal. Then once you get that in, you'll put two screws in and you'll be good to go. We'll be back once we get that done. Okay, done. Super easy. You can see here just Screw on each side, holds it in place. Piece of cake, all four corners. There we go, so you're gonna use the self-tapping screws here, the two by eights. And that's it, it literally takes like two minutes. So that's ready to go on once we put the floats on. We'll definitely do some float runs with this baby in the near future as well. So make sure you subscribe not to miss that. But yeah, so We'll get some glue and get the rest of the other airplane, the rest of the fuselage together. So here's how I did the tail strut. Okay, so pretty much, okay, so it comes flat. As you can see here, you fold this over and fold that up so you can get to this shape here. 
And I put a bunch of glue underneath this one. It's still drying. And then I had to drill a hole and use a screw for that, so I used these guys here to hold that one in place. So I'm just going to do the same for the other side, but you'll see. So I just I put the plastic right to the end of the kind of the bevel on the back of the horizontal here. So I'll do the same to this side and show you what that looks like when we're done. All right, there's side number two done. So letting that dry. Um, got my glue in. Home Safe CA from Hobby King. I'll have a link down below in the description. Got that done. So now we'll flip it over and we'll put the VGs on. Okay. We got all the VGs glued on. I just had CA in one hand and a pile of VGs in the other. And so in the little slot, I just dabbed glue in the slot, stuck the VG on, went to the next one. So wings all vortex generated up. And it even came with, uh, I see we got two extras over there so very cool so there you go but one little thing of note is the carbon prop um, it's really hard to tighten down so what I did is put some glue on the back of the prop because it's so slippery carbon's kinda hard and slippery and that'll give it enough bite or you could sandpaper it or a piece of tape um, something on there so you could get a hold of it to actually tighten it otherwise you're gonna have to somehow grab a hold of the motor you can maybe reach up through the bottom of the cowl, I don't know. Um, your mileage may vary, but anyways, that's how I do it, so there you go. Got my throw set, my dual rates, my expo, my flight modes for flap mixing to elevator and all that. And the CG, I just don't have a, the correct size battery out here right now, so we'll do the CG later. But I did measure and stick them on there. So there's approximately where you're going to balance it. It's got a pretty wide range. Um, I just kind of put that tab right in the middle so I can fine tune it, but at least I know once I get to that point, there's no measuring or guessing. I know I just need to be right around that. So, yeah, so build was easy. Everything looks good. There you can see the motor in there. It's going to be a fun plane for sure. I'm excited to get it out and fly it. There's your floats with the bird. I'm not going to put them on right now, but um, if we can get to the lake when we do some demo flights here, hopefully if the weather shapes up, then I'll show you how they go on as well. So, but it's pretty easy. But yeah, excited to try the V2 and see how she flies. So, hopefully the next time you see this, we'll be at the field and GB Linden will be out there running video. We're going to have a good time. So like, comment, subscribe, check the links down below in the description, and see you at the field. Piece of cake. Nice. Alright, short field takeoff, here we go.